Thank you and good morning, everyone. When we gather around treaty lands, our Catholic social teachings call us in solidarity with our indigenous brothers and sisters to honor and respect the four directions, lands, waters, plants, animals, and ancestors that have walked before us. We want to acknowledge the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek Nation, the people of the three fires, known as Ojibwe, Ottawa, and Potawatomi nations. We acknowledge the rich historical and modern traditions of the many First Nations and Métis people. We further give thanks to the Chippewas of Saugeen and the Chippewas of Nawash, now known as the Saugeen Ojibwe Nation, as the traditional keepers of this land. I'll now pass it on to our chaplain, Mrs. Legacy, for today's prayer. Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today is Tuesday, May the 4th, and today's theme for Catholic Education Week is Sowing Seeds of Gratitude. Today's reading is from the book of Psalms, Psalms 136, 1-3. I'll give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. I'll give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. I'll give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We can't help but remember and be thankful for the health care providers and the essential workers and the volunteers whose sacrifice con sacrifices contribute to the common good during our time of separation from each other. Let us pray in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this time to reflect. Let your peace flourish in our world and may we be always ready to bear witness to your goodness. We make this prayer in your name, Jesus. Sacred Heart, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, Sacred Heart. It is Tuesday, May the 4th, your second day of period three this week. Hope everybody had a good start to their week yesterday on Monday, and that you're settling back into your period three classes as we continue to honor uh, Mental Health Awareness Week. Just a quick reminder from me this morning that the theme for Mental Health Week this year is get real about how you feel. So as I briefly mentioned yesterday, part of this is just an awareness piece. The more we become aware of mental health, our own mental health, our own well-being, uh, the more that will be part of our awareness for others. So understanding that is a big step forward and understanding our emotions is also a big step forward. So when we can identify our emotions, uh, oftentimes that's a major step in terms of uh, keeping ourselves well. So the visuals this year from the Canadian Mental Health Association are quite effective, I think, because it gives you a bit of a spectrum of emotions, happy, afraid, sad, angry. And like anything else, it, once we can identify uh, the issue, then we can deal with the issue. So uh, we all from time to time are happy, afraid, sad, angry. And it's how we navigate that that will determine how well we do. So being sad and being angry and being afraid and being happy are all healthy emotions that all human beings uh, deal with. So as we continue to honor Mental Health Awareness Week, let's keep that in mind. This is also a bit of a segue into day two of this week's Catholic Education Week, in which the theme is Nurturing Hope. So today's theme in Nurturing Hope Catholic Education Week is Growing Seeds of Gratitude. Growing seeds of gratitude is all about being aware of how thankful we are for our lives, for our loved ones, and for all the opportunities within our lives. This ties in with Mental Health Awareness Week because the more you can have an attitude of gratitude, uh, the more you appreciate everything in your life. So today is uh, random act of kindness day. 
So reach out to someone who you love, a family member, uh, maybe a friend, and um, maybe just tell them how much you appreciate them. Random act of kindness day on this Tuesday. And so uh, with an attitude of gratitude, uh, I thank everybody. I thank our teaching staff for the amazing job that they are doing, despite the tremendous challenges of what remote learning can bring. Thank you to our teachers. Thank you to our educational assistants, who are also um, giving us great work and great dedication during this remote learning. And thanks to you, the students. That is it for me today. A little bit of a longer one for me. Tomorrow, don't forget, we have our provincial-wide Catholic Education Week Mass. That's at 11 a.m., everyone, tomorrow morning. And other than that, that's all I have to say today, other than may the 4th be with you. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday.